Hello everybody, I'm Nate Asher once again matching. And we're playing Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Master of Time. In the last episode we made our way to a Bella Town, and in this episode we are going into the castle. Okay. I have a feeling this was meant to be in the tree. <laughs> but okay. So do we have to like sneak past the past the guards or what? No. We do have a little bit of a maze, it would seem. It's blocked off by the freaking bombs. Hopefully they're nice enough to just grant this complete stranger some bombs. Oh, this guy stalked us. What? Not true. Ooh. One of the many treasures brought back from Joffrey's Desert. Or gold seems infinite. I want gold. Okay, but I totally hear the golden skull flow. That's the gold that I'm interested in. Okay. No way to get that right now. I guess we'll come back. We'll just remember that. What's well, over here? Hospital in quarantine due to a strange disease. Stay safe. Do not enter. Um... Might know what disease you're talking about. Not saying anything, so I'm not trying to get copyright strike. Or not even copyright strike, but just... In trouble. <laughs> Ooh. Those could have been a little higher resolution, but other than that... Actually, everything in here looks like it was very low res and uh, scaled up, which I would advise against if they tried to do this again. You can visit our castle, but if I see you steal something, I will kill you. Or if we're alone, you just give me half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Take that 50 rupees. Or for a loan, you just give me half. Oh, dude. These are the people you got working for you. Alright, so we got a throne, maybe? Nothing in this corner. And nothing up here. This must be like a... I'm guessing this is like the... Um, the courtroom. You know? And the, the king or princess or whoever uh, resides there. And then this is the jury. And you just... Uh, you walk up and accept your fate. I'd say it's a pretty good uh, synopsis. Pretty astute synopsis. If I am going to be using my words. Magic. 
All right. So, um, the guard at the entrance said that if we want to further our search for to save time or whatever, he said there's some books in the library at the castle. So I guess we're looking for a library? Hey, where's the library? Behind these doors is the throne room. Be patient with the king, Rutalika. He is old. <laughs> okay. Dude, could you have put these pillars closer to the freaking... Uh, whatever. Alright, so these are actually collectible rupees, because those are spinning. Looking for a library, buddy. You can find the library at the top right from here. Well, good. That's exactly what we're looking for. What are they? Okay, they just put a rupee sideways. Cool. Good job. Okay, why does every place need a... Why does every balcony need a guardrail except for this freaking thing? This, it's okay if you fall off. Oh my gosh. Yes, this definitely needs a... Okay library to the top right oh wow how many books are here night has my voice I decided because <laughs> I don't want to make a voice for him it'll take us forever to find the good one Yeah, you start reading those, I'll look over here. Oh, look at this one. The Legend of the Master of Time. How a legendary hero stopped time. It's this book. We are really lucky. Yeah, it would seem so. So what is this story? Oh, so we're getting a cutscene. Alright, here we go. Long ago, in the country of Abello, the darkness was synonymous of danger. Every night was filled with monsters. People weren't able to live in peace. Condemned to fight for their lives, they prayed to the gods to bring them a Nimrod. Really? One day, from a faraway country, came a strong hero and his fairy, able to face any enemy, no matter how deadly. His task wasn't easy, but he succeeded. By finding a way to control time's speed, an eternal day was deemed the best way. The tools of his power were six medallions, six powerful artifacts hidden in dungeons. One in a forest, one in a volcano, one near the land of death. One in a desert. One in deep waters. And the last one behind a divine door. Without night, monsters could be downed. And the first king of Abella was crowned. Bars? After bringing Abello, <laughs> After bringing peace to Abello, our savior looked for another country to go to. Proving he was a real hero. Run on sentence. This is the legend of the master of time. His only legacy is a song. Containing a magic very strong. Bars again, but run on sentence as... Ugh. Don't, don't try and make, like eloquent language if English is not your first language I mean good god there's only a song written after that that's a nice start now we know we need to find six medallions don't forget to memorize the song okay I don't remember
I have my buttons mapped really weird, so... Okay, let's move. First medallion of the book is in a forest. Maybe we should start there. Cool. Alright, we'll just walk into that wall. I want to see what's over here real quick. The heck? Aww. Little birds? I don't think that's an ocarina time. I hate my job. I stand all day long in this corridor and I feel this place is haunted sometimes. Uh oh. Hey, look, it's a uh, gossip stone. Alright, there's a door there. This is just a window that's a little odd. What the heck? What? Is that the throne? Can't see. What's in this door? Okay, uh, what was that one song? I really hope it put him down. Okay, good. <laughs> Last round part song. So, left or right? Left, right, up, left, right, down. There we go. Oh, I need the ocarina. Left, right, up, left, right. Ugh. Left, right, up, left, right, down. Oh my gosh. No! We're dead, dude. Get me out of here. Whoa, the king is Raru? What? You can talk to King Ratalika, but if he doesn't answer to you, it's just you are not enough important. If you don't speak English, don't Talk eloquently. Oh my gosh. You can talk to King Rotalika, but if he doesn't answer you, you're just not important enough for our majesty. Okay, well, I guess I'm not important enough because I don't even I'm not even able to target him. Wait, we got a hundred rupees here. Which is weird because there actually isn't an orange ruby in Ocarina of Time. Okay, yeah. Get some health. This is annoying. Alright, so we gotta go to a forest. Here, dude, do you want this, like, bottle of letter? 
No, I can't take that. That's not what I want to buy. Okay, well, you know what? I don't want it either. I don't know why the person who made this round hack couldn't have just told me good luck and have fun. Why is this here? Why? Alright, forest. Gotta go to the forest. I'm guessing we need that, um... That song we learned. There we go, that's better. Is this the forest? Yes. So we need to pass the thing of strength, right? To get up to, um... Wherever the heck that is. Right? Oh no, it says I have- I- only if I know the legend of the Master Time. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, what's the song? Master song. Up, left, up, left, right, down. Okay. Cool. Oh no. I don't have a, a hook shot. I like this, uh, the way they did this though. Here, I don't want to be wasting magic every time I gotta use my arrows. Wait. Oh, that's how I get back up. Okay. Where are we? All right. Yeah. Try and get me out, buddy. Give me them nuts. No! Okay. Where the heck are we? Oh my! Oh, 
No! You're not piranha plants. Get out of there. What the heck? Get off me. This is a pretty cool place. Like, it actually looks like a friggin' forest. I'm digging it. I really am. Okay. Hello. You're not welcome here. No, neither are you, dude. Oh my gosh. That's all I get. What I thought. That is what I thought. No secrets back here? Yeah, uh huh. What? Oh, thanks. Oh, no. What is that? Dude. 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 Wait a minute, did I even see what was all the way over there? I didn't. I can get up there, though. Get up. No! Poop! Dude! Stop! Oh. Oh. Can I... That's not what opened you, huh? Alright. I guess we will see... What's through here? Thanks. Uh, I sold the piece of heart, and I see the skull kid. Oh, a traveler. You might be able to help me. My Kukiri comrades were made prisoner by the ogre, Patrick. He wanted to eat them. Hopefully he is in Lausanne jail right now, because he stole a lot of money from them. When they came to put Patrick in jail, they forgot to free the Kukiri, so they are still in there. They might all be dead soon. Their time is running out. You don't look like a Kokiri. Yeah, I do. I'm a dead Kokiri. My soul wasn't in peace, so I'm still here as a spirit. Oh, it's so sad, but we have a prophecy to fulfill. We need to find medallions. We don't really have time to help you. Medallions? I'm pretty sure there's one in the manor. If you promise to free the Okokiris, I will teach you a way to enter the manor. Maybe you lie to save your friends. 
But I guess we don't have any choice. We don't have any other trail. Great! So let me teach you a song. With it, you'll be able to enter the manor. Okay. Please hurry. Let's meet in the manor. Alright, well, I guess this is the start of the Forest Temple? Anyways, that's all for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Nate Asher. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. I really do appreciate it. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later if you don't like the content, okay? Thanks. Uh, in the next episode, we will be taking on the Forest Dungeon. And I'm kind of really excited to see what it has in store so yeah uh, i will see you guys then bye